Hi guys, Manas here and today we're going to be discussing projection of line. So it's going to be level 1 where we're going to see line inclined to one plane. It could either be inclined to HP or VP. Alright, so here is problem number 1 and it goes like this. A line 50 mm long is inclined at 45 degrees to the VP and parallel to the HP. Alright, the nearest end of the line is 25 mm in front of the VP. Draw the projections of the line and if it is 40 mm above the HP. Alright. So I've made a pictorial representation of this particular fig, uh, description uh, where we, you can see that this line over here is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the vertical plane and this is the true length of the line. All right. And this particular true length can only be seen from the top or since it is inclined to the VP. Okay. Now one more thing which has been given in the question is that the nearest end of the line, nearest end to the vertical plane that is NA is the nearest end. All right. And NB is the farthest end. So this nearest end. Uh, to the vertical plane it lies at a distance of 25 mm from it okay so we're gonna write here that is da the nearest end is equal to 25 millimeters and true length obviously is 50 millimeters and uh, the dist the angle that the line makes with the vertical plane has been given as 45 degrees at the same time uh, it's being said that the line is parallel to the hp now if it is parallel to hp now guys remember if a line is parallel to HP, then each and every point on this line will be at the same height. And that same height has been given as 40 millimeters. All right. So here it is. I, I'll show you if it is 40 mm above the HP. Okay. So line parallel to and 40 mm above HP means that all the points constituting that line are 40 mm above HP. That's it. So that's the conclusion uh, we can derive. And now let's get on with the question. Okay, so when you rotate this, when you rotate this, uh, you have some, you have a projection something like this. So H is going to be above, D is going to be below since it is uh, a projection made, supposed to be made in the first quadrant. All right, front view, top view, this is going to be vertical plane and this over here is going to be horizontal plane. You can see this. Okay, so when you rotate this horizontal plane by an angle of 90 degrees, you're going to have a horizontal line, this horizontal line, you're going to have this and below which you're going to have a horizontal plane and above this will you you will have this vertical plane okay now guys as far as projection of point line solid or anything you always need to figure out as to from which view you have to start the problem now since it is a line the true length of the line can only be seen from the top the true length of the line can only be seen from the top so hence we have to begin by drawing the top view first all right so I've written down all these data so ha and da has been given to us h is going to be above x y 40 above 25 below so let's draw this 40 above and 25 below and this point over here is point a dash and this over here is point a simply a now the true length of the line can only be seen from the top and it is going to be seen um, as if it is making an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane all right so we're going to do this inclination and the true length has been given to us as 50 millimeters and this angle is going to be 45 degrees so that's it so this is exactly how the line appears from the top okay so this over here is going to be point b simply point b and then finally we have if you look at this object from the front it put up here as a straight line this line is going to be absolutely parallel to this horizontal line okay this line is going to be absolutely parallel to this horizontal or the reference line so what i'll do is i'm gonna draw a line over from here randomly of any suitable length and then finally i'm going to look at this from the front and from the front when i look at it it's going to end up somewhere here so this over here is going to be my final front view so this is going to be b dash um let me chop off this portion with respect to this line okay and finally we have this as the front view and this as the top view let me darken both of them and it should finally look something like this all right so guys one more dimension that we can actually do is um this over here this is going to be 50 millimeters now one more thing which you can do is uh this okay so the angle which has been given to us is um, this has been given to us as 45 degrees. Well, that's it. That's how you prepare the drawing for a line which is inclined to the vertical plane. Okay. And it is parallel to the horizontal plane. Okay. So this is Manas Patnaik signing off.
Thank you for watching the video. See you again.